So uh, the Violent Crime Bureau is composed of primarily two units, so VIPER and TAC. Uh, VIPER stands for Violent Incident Prevention and Early Response. And then the TAC team. So the TAC team is a tactical team. It's the full-time SWAT guys. And what they do is they kind of have two focuses or two missions. So the very first mission is uh, we help crimes against persons. We help further their investigations. So if they have a lead on a homicide case, an armed robbery, um, a child molestation, some kind of case like that, uh, they can give us their intelligence, the information that they're looking for, and we will go work those areas, try to locate that vehicle, that suspect, um, those firearms, that evidence that we're looking for. We'll try to locate that for them, and then in coordination with them, we can help them move their cases forward. Yeah, this is one of the most self-motivated group of guys um, that I've ever worked with. Uh, been with the department a little over 22 years, and this this group of guys is, uh, it's unbelievable um, how many hours they'll put in, uh, no griping, no complaining. Uh, they come in and uh, we've worked uh, 32 hour shifts straight, uh, getting a murder suspect. Our normal shift is supposed to be 10 hours. It is um, very common for us to work 15, 16 hours. It's unbelievable how hard those guys will work for us and for the community keeping it safe. The second focus that we have, when we don't have work that's directed by Crimes Against Persons. Uh, we will practically go out and work areas uh, that we know from um, crime reporting and things like that, that are the hot areas of the county, the areas that have the most violent crime. We are currently in 2021 at uh, 148 crime guns. Those are guns used in crimes or being feloniously possessed by felons. We've arrested eight murder suspects this year. And some of those are Cobb County murder suspects. Uh, but we have murder suspects uh, that we've gotten as far away as uh, Okaloosa County or Lake County, Florida in different states. One of the more notable cases that we had worked together as a team was a child kidnapping case. There was two juveniles that were taken. Um, it was late at night and they gave out a vehicle description in Austell of these two, uh, I believe it was a seven-year-old and an eight-year-old. Uh, they were taken in this green Pontiac Grand Am very much a needle in a haystack on trying to find this car. One of the uh, the Viper guys ended up finding the car. Uh, he was in an unmarked car and followed it for a little bit. Uh, eventually, we got that car stopped and the seven and the eight year old were recovered. Almost at the Alabama line, that's the kind of thing where um, it's kidnapping victims and the guys wouldn't give up because they knew it was close. Um, once we found the car, we followed it and uh, kept working on it until the job got done.